it. Let's see what we can do. GoPro died, so I got my dash cam on my phone going here. Hopefully it stays in place. We will see. I think that was just a Hellcat that I was keeping up with pretty dang close. <laughs> that was good, I think. I think that was good. Thank you. to read in here let me see if i can turn on this light 1248 at 113. and i don't know if we can read this on here that is a 1248 at 113 miles an hour So we have an appointment at a dyno tomorrow, and I have never been to a dyno before, so this will be interesting. Uh, I've done everything I can do, I think, to get this thing ready and make sure it's all good. I hope everything goes smoothly. Uh, literally, it's exactly the same way as the last time I went to the track. Gonna take a spark plug out, I, don't want, I just wanna see what they look like. I've not taken them out since I got the engine running. Uh, make sure everything looks good there. I'm just gonna take one spark plug out. Uh, probably just this one down here, because it's the easiest one to get to. And I've checked all my fluids, checked everything else for tightness, make sure everything else is as good as it can be. I'll get some more fuel in the morning, make sure she's topped up. And uh, yeah, a bunch of guys from, a couple guys from work actually are going, and uh, my brother Dan with his 10 second Ranger. And we're all gonna see what kind of numbers we can put down. So uh, wish me luck. We'll uh, get the spark plug out. We'll see what that looks like. I think I've mentioned before, but I'm running a TR6 spark plug on this. This one, the same uh, spark plug I ran on my 3.1 on the turbocharged engine. Uh, that one, it called for a a uh, TR4 spark plug, which is two steps colder, or sorry, this is two steps colder than the TR4. These 3400s actually call for a TR5 because they are a little bit higher compression stock. Um, so I'm still running the TR6. I might, I don't know, I might switch it down to TR7 if I decide to bump the boost up. Overall, spark plug looks pretty decent. And again, if you guys see something different, let me know. That's what I'm seeing so far. They say based on the line here on the on the uh, electrode there, or the, you can kind of tell if your timing is good. To me, it looks like it's pretty much right where it needs to be. You can kind of see a little bit of a line there. Might be a little bit high. That you want you want to be like kind of right in the curve, if I remember correctly. But again, if you guys see something I don't, let me know. I got spark plugs back in and uh, as far as I can tell she's ready to go so again my prediction I've never done a dyno before I don't know how this dyno reads high low whatever compared to you know other ones so my prediction based on quarter mile times and weight and based on what my tuner studio software tells me like I've shown you guys before I'm saying 330 at the wheels uh, so that's my prediction right now we'll see how close I am tomorrow uh, my brother with his 10 second Ranger, I've already told him, I said, I think he's going to be, I'm ballparking 560 on his. So we'll see how close we get, post those numbers up and we'll see how we do tomorrow. We'll uh, see you guys in the morning. Just waiting for my brother Dan to show up and then we're on our way to the dyno. I really should have 
wash the car beforehand, but whatever. It's a little messy here, especially on the mirrors from last night at the track. But Andrew is ready to go, so we'll see which numbers she puts down. Ah, uh, no! <laughs> All of those. What do you think anyways? You ready? Twenty pounds? What's that? Twenty pounds? No, not that much. It should, it should be about eleven pounds. Give me like a thumbs up when you want me to start okay. it. Okay. Spent enough of your time. I had to these properly. 11.08 was max too. So I didn't even, uh, they probably averaged around 10. 